Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite Tamil salads that's eaten with rice and curries, a tomato salad. One of my favorite aunts is my Auntie Ranji, and Auntie Ranji is a vegetarian. She's not a vegan, but she's vegetarian, and she is an excellent cook. So many years ago, uh, when I was a kid, there was a, a time that I was introduced to one of her salads that she loved making and it was a tomato salad and I asked her how to make it I learned how to make it and I've been making it regularly ever since it's a very simple easy salad to make it's delicious with meat curries she doesn't eat meat curries it's delicious with vegetable curries but it's also delicious with just a very simple fried egg rice and dal so to make this salad, you need some plum tomatoes, which I have washed, and some green chilies, some fresh green chilies, onion, lime, salt, pepper, and the secret ingredient, a little bit of mayonnaise. <laughs> so let's get to it. This is easy to make. The key thing about this salad that makes it really divine is how the tomatoes are sliced. The tomatoes are sliced very thinly. She slices the tomatoes like paper thin and she keeps them in sort of squares. So I've, I've sliced this tomato like that and now I'm using a really sharp serrated tomato knife and I'm slicing these pieces very thinly. And then this just goes into the container or the dish that you're going to mix the salad in. So you want to cut all of the tomato the same way. It's, it's, it's a little jarring when you're eating this salad if there's a big chunk of tomato. And you might think that that's not very important, but it really is. The beauty of this salad is that the everything is thinly sliced and it's it's almost like a slaw because everything is thinly sliced so so really if you're gonna make this and you're gonna make it properly take your time to pay attention to how this is being cut and if you don't have a sharp knife sharpen a knife or get a sharp one so that you can cut the tomatoes super thin Okay, next, onion. So the proportions are the same amount of tomato to onions in the salad. Sometimes if I'm not, if I don't feel like eating a lot of onion, I'll half it. So I'm gonna put in a piece of onion today that is about that big, like half the size of the plum tomato that I used. And I'm gonna use a different knife to slice the onion. Again, you want to slice the onion exactly the same way you sliced the tomato. Very thinly. And the same size. This is the sort of thing that my relatives would make on a weeknight when they came home exhausted from the office. It's quick, it's healthy, it's delicious and you can make a lot of it for the whole family in just a few minutes. So it's the sort of thing that I don't, I think Auntie Ranji invented this salad, but she's been making it for years and she's shared it with many family members. Green chilies, fresh green chili, sliced down the middle and very thinly sliced. I say that this is a Tamil salad because we eat it with Tamil food. Like, I wouldn't eat this with chicken nuggets. You, we've, I've only ever eaten this with rice and curries. So that's why I call it a Tamil salad. I'm Tamil. I can call it a Tamil salad. Okay. Green chili. Look at that. Beautiful, tiny, goes into there. Now, very important ingredients, salt and pepper. If you're making this in advance, like an hour or, or two before you're gonna serve it, don't add the salt at this point. 
chop up everything and then put it in the fridge and add the salt and the other ingredients right before you serve it. So a good amount of salt, some black pepper. It's funny, Auntie Ranji's sister who lives in Sri Lanka has a spice farm and this black pepper is from Auntie Logini who's Auntie Angie's sister. So, it's all in the family. I love to grind the pepper fresh. And coarse for this. Coarsely ground pepper, salt, and a little bit of fresh lime juice. That gets squeezed onto there. The last ingredient, the secret ingredient, a little bit of mayonnaise, like a tablespoon or two. Stir it up. I make this like three, three times a week. This is an immigrant invention. It's what we do, we adapt. You leave your homeland, you move to a new country and you adapt by finding the ingredients that are used there and creating your own dishes. And that's what Auntie Ranji did. Okay, there's her salad. I have to say, I will concede to my inabilities. Hers is always nicer than mine. Her tomatoes are always more thinly sliced. But this is, this is, this is my attempt. It still tastes good. There you have it, a very quick, easy, cheap, delicious salad to have with rice and curries. I'll show you how I eat this in another video. Thanks for watching.